Gradually looks at Sociel with contempt, despite the difference in height. It seems it's a gnome who is looking down on his counterpart. You wanted to ask me about something? I'm listening. Sociel lowers his head with cold respect. Thank you for finding the time to listen to me. It regards a personal matter. There was a woman in your squad. She perished covering our retreat, and I don't even know her name, but she carried this shield. It once belonged to my brother. Do you happen to know how she came to have it? Personal matter? Of course. How silly of me to expect a relevant question. Regil chuckles. After savoring the expression on Sociel's face, he continues. Her name was Marenta, and she turned out to be a better soldier than I thought. Too bad she still wasn't good enough to survive. She transferred to us from the Order of the Nail. The extra Patriots chapter, if memory serves me right. I wasn't interested in her reasons for changing chapters, and she never gave any. Such transfers are not forbidden, though they are not encouraged. In any case, she already had the shield when she came to us. And the only way to find out where she got it from is to ask at her former chapter. But the gods only know where they are now and which demons they are slaughtering. Thank you for your answer, Perlictor. With cold politeness, Sociel lowers his head, bows before the night, then turns to you. It seems I have reached a dead end. This isn't the end. You can still find those knights. Perhaps if the goddess helps me, but where are they? Where do I even begin to look for them? If only I had a chance to talk to her while she was still alive. Sociel looks away. I sound so selfish. She died and all I talk about is what she could have done for me, but it's not only that. The shield was Trevor's treasure. He wouldn't have given it away for no reason. How did this woman get it? Did she deceive Trevor, kill him, or perhaps the opposite? She meant so much to him that he gave her the shield voluntarily? I keep mulling it over, trying to understand, trying to imagine what happened to my brother, and what role Morenta played in this story. If she was still alive, maybe I'd have to exact my vengeance for my brother on her, or maybe we'd sit next to each other and she'd tell me all about their adventures together. She might have become my mortal enemy or sworn sister, but she's dead. She's just dead. None of that will happen now. Do you understand? Cleric's voice trembles. Perhaps we will meet these extra paters. I shall pray that we do, but I won't hold my breath. The social shakes his head. Let's talk about this later. I need time to gather my thoughts. Evia looks at you with apprehension. She warily reaches out for your shoulder, but then jerks back, her fingers away. That flash. This time it was even brighter than it was over the Grey Garrison. And you've changed again. Hirabeth emerges from behind on Evia's back. Her body is covered in bandages, her hair is threaded with grey, and her voice is weak. It's as if she has aged a decade. You still came for me. For us. I... The half orc's voice breaks. I thought it was the end. Nevia takes her wife by the arm, as if fearing she might fall. Commander, I admit, I've never believed in miracles. But no, no, I, now I know why the Queen put you in command of this army. Today you did the impossible again, right before our eyes. You pulled your people from a demon's mouth, opened the road to Dresden for us, and you saved my family again. We've suffered some losses, but you managed to keep them to a minimum. Our army is strong and full of resolve. Yes, many died, and even more will die yet. Today, tomorrow, every day until the end of this war. But every day there's another chance to save someone. She gives you a carefree smile. I hope these would-be crusaders will not easily forget the lesson this knight has taught them. 
And this night has left scars on our soldiers, on their bodies and in their hearts. But it also showed them that the power of demons is not boundless. We can destroy the demons, and we will. Fighting the demons on their own territory is better than waiting for them to come to us like they did in Kenobolis. We are on the right path. It might not be the easiest, the easiest climb, but we'll be fine. Hey, why all the glam faces? We won! Come on! She raises her sword to the brightening sky to victory. If we're finished up here, I suggest we head back to camp. The stench here is horrendous. Besides, I wouldn't mind catching up on some sleep. Is that right, your majesty? Are you tired? Or you don't like the nasty stench, huh? Uh, should we put in a complaint that the demons didn't greet you with a proper etiquette? <laughs> As if you know anything about proper etiquette. Hey, guys, guys, chill. Chill. Besides, there is only one majesty here and she hasn't talked yet. I will remember this night for the rest of my life. Darren's shoulders slump, but then he grins. <laughs> I have always wanted to throw a bash in a church. I suppose this one counts. Queen Golfrey whispers, so only you can hear her. This beast possessed a terrible, unholy power, and still it fell at your feet. I was right about you. You are more than just a mighty force. You are our hope. For me, for all, for us, for all of Golarion. I'll get the survivors back to camp. Let him rest up a little while, at least. It was a scary night, but we still got Dresden ahead of us. As the story unfolds, you draw closer to events that have the power to change everything. Some quests and locations may become unavailable. Proceed when you are ready. Okay. So, I would like to Lost Chapel. Mm, let's get back to camp. Let's talk to our people. We need some... <laughs> options for... <laughs> lawful. Damn it! I just went for good path and never for lawful and now fighting me in my ass I, I i i can't level up that's a giant problem let's see maybe anyone here any one of these doofuses has any new uh, dialogue options doesn't look like it but regil blah i just need to care not to press on go back i don't want you okay i have to go useless nobody here is going to help us amber what about you do the soldiers still rely on you for help even more than before they come to ask me questions wanting advice i don't think i ever say anything clever but sometimes it helps them that's what matters right your words helped me back then too i'm still scared that i'm going to say something wrong but if you believe in me, that means I am doing the right thing, right? And I believe in our fighters, so they have to win. I have to go. Okay. So go. <laughs> okay. Yes. Bye. Queen Golfrey, okay. Hmm. <clears throat> no, nothing? God so, speed. no dialogue options. That's a bit odd. Iraba. Surely we can talk to her. Oh, you're just... Oh, you're fine, okay? No questions like, thank you for saving my life. You were nearly killed. It's just... Okay. Nothing happened. No dialogue options. Let us press on. That's a bit odd. I mean, at least she will thank us for saving her wife. Oh! A wounded elf, huh? Well, there were lots of wounded in Kenobis. Who wounded him? In what way? Navier appears relaxed, even nonchalant, but her eyes gleam at... 
attentively, and her hands, if it's by coincidence, are resting on her belt next to a weapon. How should I know? Oh, that's a female elf earlier. Ah, oh, she's a... Uh, James Marker, she, her voice is extremely deep. It must have been demons. If the wound was serious, I doubt she has fully recovered from it. Maybe if you could pinpoint me towards a healer, I could... The woman, wrapped in rags all the way up to her eyes, turns around at the sound of your footsteps. Damn it! In a lightning-fast motion, Anivia knocks something from the woman's hand, an amulet that seemingly appeared out of nowhere. It falls to the ground and disappears in a flash of magic. What's the rush, sweetheart? Stay a while. The commander and me, we've got a couple questions for you too. Ah, oh, Anivia, well done. You won't escape this time. Who are you and why are you hiding your face? You hear a heavy sigh coming from under the shawl. Uh, fine, you've got me. We'll talk, but not here. Lead me somewhere away from prying eyes. Prying, you do, you're in the commander's tent. There's absolute privacy. They're just two people. There is nowhere else. She's all yours, commander. I caught her, I handed her over, and now, as they say, I wash my hands off this whole affair. Mm -hmm. What do you want from me, soldier? In an exasperated gesture, she rips the half-mask of her face, and you see her black skin and crimson eyes. It's Kyleser. The elf you met in Canabras. Who are you? Again. Remind me, I forgot you. Giving you a scrutinizing look, she says harshly. There's no point in knowing, soldier. Trust me, the answer would only bring you misfortune, and it still wouldn't be of any use to you. I'm a wanderer you won't ever meet again. Except if I kill you, then... Well, even then we would never meet again, no damn it. Um, why did you follow my army? To find someone. Kaleso lets out a resigned huff. His masters want me dead, which means I will die sooner or later. After a pause, she narrows her eyes and spits out. But that doesn't mean I'll lie down and accept my fate. I am no lamb to the slaughter, and I won't be waiting for a kindly executioner to come for me, a knife in hand. Never again. Um... Oh, that's lawful? You serious? Oh, come on, game. Are you a spy? The scarlet eyes flash defiantly, and she mutters through her teeth, I am not going to hide it. I have come here to commit a violent and bloody act, but I do not serve the demons, and I won't do you or your forces any harm. Don't play coy, I need details. Why? Frowning skeptically, she gives you an appraising look. And what will you do with my story? Take it into account and pass your judgment? Kill you if you deem me a reprobate, help the poor girl if you don't. Well. I haven't asked for help, and your authority to judge me seems rather dubious. Dubious? Girl, the gods just interfere twice. There's a halo on the head. If that is not enough, the heck is enough for you, huh? Deception check. She's clearly lying to you, but it doesn't feel like the guide of someone plotting a crime. There's a slight hounded look to her eyes that makes her seem more like let prey than hunter. I'll leave you. I mean, th there is no more... Lawful, so I'll leave you be. She shrugs casually as if her fate had not been hanging in the balance just a moment ago. How nice of you, soldier. I don't call me soldier. I'm the commander of the crusade. Everyone's a soldier in a war, generals and privates alike. I look at you and I see someone whose life is war and only war. That makes you a soldier. You're a drow, aren't you? You have a keen eye for these things, don't you, soldier? You guessed correctly. I'm a drow, but I don't think that gives you the right to judge me. There's much you don't know about me. And never will know. Believe me, it's for your own good. I met other elves who looked like you. They served the demons. Animora's minions. The words escape her lips before she's able to stop them. And she looks at you with a visible irritation. One of Daskari's servants was a powerful elf by the name of Animora, and those corrupted elves are her lackeys. Don't ask me how I know this or why my appearance is similar to theirs. I'm not your enemy, but if you see them, kill them without remorse. Well, a drow couldn't have come here with good intentions. Goodbye. She tries to block your attack with a bow, but a sturdy wood snaps with a resounding crack. Your strike finds its mark, and she falls like a bird, shot out of the sky. Blood bubbles from her mouth, 
And with the last of her strength, she forces out the words, Soldier, take them. Don't let them forget my story and the dark fate. I'm sorry, girl, we need lawful good alignment. <clears throat> and apparently this game believes that lawful good means killing people. I mean, it's just, what? Her hand reaches under her cloak and emerges once more, but instead of a dagger, she's clutching some crumbled papers that she forces into your hand. Then she falls silent forever. Oh. Okay, so whatever. Uh, first, we're going to... Next. Our strength. Hmm... Dun, 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 dun. Done. Special abilities. Divine weapon bond. Exceo magic. Ay, 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 ay. So there's a lot of stuff here. RR for resolve. Immune to charm spells. Spell like abilities. Oh. Well, hello there. So, what does the text say? Kylesa's message. Whoever is reading this, know that my name was Kailessa, and I was an elf until my last day. When I lived in Kionin, our blessed land, I witnessed a great number of injustices and crimes against conscience. Even we elves are not abs absolutely pure, and to the best of my abilities I fought against these wrongs, bringing justice to those that have evaded the law. While I was not alone, we were few, we remained in secret, and we called ourselves the Sunset Wasps. We revered Calestria, and in her name we exacted vengeance upon those who had lost all shame. But we had been deceived. We were pawns of a vicious priestess of Descari by the name of Anemora. She manipulated us, lied to us, hiding under the guise of the oldest and the wisest of us, and at her behest we spilled the blood of the innocent, not the guilty. When our transgressions were discovered, we became pariahs, monsters in the eyes of our people. Anemora revealed her true identity and offered her patronage. All safe for me agreed, and I am ashamed of their choice. But what brings me even greater shame is that, when my former comrades approached me, I could not find the strength to draw my dagger and take my own life. I wish I had. I was taken captive and brought to the world wound. There our new mistress taught us the ways of evil and darkness. We studied sin, and I learned alongside the others. At first it was co I was controlled by means of magic, but... Then, when you're forced to torture prisoner after prisoner, when you lose count of their seemingly endless number, something snaps inside of you and you cease struggling. And that was the moment of truth. Carefully, read carefully, for this revelation is the reason for my writing these words. I fell into the embrace of the dark fate. A mysterious curse hangs over elven kind. Whenever one of us sinks to a certain depth of evil, they turn into a drow. We were lied to. The Dark Elves are not a degenerate, flawed branch of our people. Or they are not a parody envisioned by the Dark Gods. They are us. And their sins are ours. We cannot renounce our responsibility for them. Because every elf, every single one, has the potential to become a drow. I expect that this truth will be dangerous, even amongst the elves. There are many who are powerful and influential, and I feel that they will seek to bury this revelation and destroy all who know of it. But I believe that the truth is greater than gain. I always have. Farewell and believe in truth. So she kind of deserved to die. I mean, she apparently tortured innocent people. I mean, <clears throat> countless innocent people. Brutally murdered them. Oh, but still... Okay. For a nanosecond I was thinking thinking about reloading the safe game. Um uh, but apparently that's not necessary. Social. Okay. Cleric next no not strength intelligence. All of that of course. Da -da, da -da. Holy Lance. At 8th level, you can give a weapon you touch the holy special weapon quality for a number of rounds equal to one half of your level in the class that gave you access to this domain. Okay. Maybe we're nearing the end of this game. I have no idea. Anything else that we can... Composite longbow? Leather armor. Wood waste. Hmm. Recruit. What are you doing here? Happy to serve, Commander. Okay. Um, 
mythic path. Upgrade. Ooh. What are we going to do with him? Go with flawless attack. Mmm. Our wizard. Doesn't really matter. Grundalf. Whatever. Blah, da, 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 da. I just want this icon to disappear. So, what are we going to do? Uh, Deary, Scorching Ore, whatever. There's so many spells that we can choose from. Dragon's Breath, why not? Complete this. Mythic Path, yes. Mm. Spanned Arsenal, no, 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 no. Sorceress Reflex, why not? Done. Next one, Ember. Yeah, she's quite important. Which intelligence? Because we're giving her more points. Evil Eye, Ice Plant. Hmm. Crackle. The Hex grants the Witch a plus two natural armor bonus to AC. Okay. Spells. Oh, very powerful ones, I guess. Volcanic Storm, Cape of Wasps. Hmm. Rushing. Cure critical wounds. Yes. Perfect. Healing is very important. And she's going for the Mythic Path rank 2. Um, emergency Pot. Nah. Go for Destiny Beyond Birth. Plan. You matter very little, my friend, but still. Let's give him some stuff. Keep our wholeness of body. Why not? Done. And mythic path as well. Hmm. Point blank shot, whatever. I don't care. Anyone else needs upgrading? No, perfect. Now we're done here. Our path leads on. Now I just want to know. Um. Still awful good, okay. Anything to do in the tent? Rest. Anivia. Any dialogue options? No. She's not even asking. And apparently there are no no new dialogue options here. You goodbye. You hello. Squad done. Ruins of Ashbury Hamlet. Okay. Let's go there seems quite important. I can't read it now. God damn it. Okay, yes. That's going to be the story for next episode. And I still have a slight problem. A hollow tree, how do we get there? I guess we have to destroy this demon army, but their general is a huge problem. I'm not sure how I'm going to defeat him. <coughs> hmm. Well, that's a problem for another day.